day two of our big brick lined outhouse privy dig. There's Privy Paul Beeler and I'm Digger Dave Beeler. We're bailing out water. Yep, on a rainy day. Rainy day. Rainy water, <laughs> but we decided to wait for daylight. It was dark and so now we're getting back started. We got a few bottles there already. Yeah. Um, show that little uh, pot there, that white pot this you one? pulled out. Yeah, yeah. It's some kind of like an ironstone bowl there. It's got some nice flowers yeah, on it. Some green flowers. Green, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it yet. That's pretty nice. It's unusual because it's like thin, almost like porcelain. Yeah. I guess there was a little chip on it, but. And what else? You get a white ironstone lid there, yeah. it looks like. Looks like a sugar bowl lid. Yeah. Bowl. Just plain white bowl. And a druggist with the measurements on it. <laughs> yeah. And a ball mason, a quart ball mason fruit jar. Yeah. Couple whiskeys. This was a coffin flask. Which... A coffin or shoe fly whiskey there. Yeah. They're muddy, but. Yep. Bailing water out. I got to pull the bucket, but I just wanted to show that real quick. Oh, there was a little bottle over here, real cute too. We got. <laughs> Kind of nice, a little quilted uh, perfume bottle, most likely from 1890s. It's hand blown. You can see that. It's kind of nice. We hit that already, and uh, another one over here, someplace. What I do with it? Here it is. A little doll cup. <laughs> a little ironstone doll cup. A little girl had that. We hit a couple doll heads that last time we'll be showing all this stuff we're just wanting to get the whole dug so all right hope everybody's doing good and we'll uh we'll get some of this water and slop bailed out and get back here in, in a few minutes all right there's paul still bailing water <laughs> yeah i'm making good progress yeah You're doing good we're about two feet lower than when we started well, he's down probably about the nine foot level or more there. Uh oh, I gotta pull a bucket. <laughs> well, you can see we're hitting more bottles there. We hit some uh, nice ones. We'll show later a little sample. Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Liver Bladder Cure. And, uh, let's see if I turned it off. <laughs> turned the camera off. I was gonna zoom, hit the wrong button. But uh, it's gonna be blurry. It's raining here, so. But you can see a few things, a little beer bottle there, probably Adolphus Bush Glass Manufacturing Company on the bottom. And a little round bottle there, is that sample Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root. Yeah. There, and then he got a mustard. Yeah. yeah. Dobson Hills Manufacturing Company, St. Louis. A little small size Ooh. mustard. Yeah. Uh, well, that's about it for now. Bottle. Perfume, yeah. Get a real cool uh, uh, ball mason that had it was like a aqua, but had amber swirls in it. Oh, I know that would. Yeah, be would have been nice, but all right. Well, I better get back to work here. <laughs> we were getting wet. It's starting to rain a little bit more, but yeah. we're here, so we're gonna keep on going. Not that you know. What I mean. All right, I got Dad down in there now. Bailing yeah. some slop and water. <laughs> Getting down close to the bottom, about nine foot level. Uh, bailed some stuff out. There's a bunch of seeds floating around. Just seeing if there's any bottles sticking out right there. There's something there. Between some bricks. It'd be like a fruit jar or something. I think it's a little fruit jar. Let's see what it is. Is it a pint? Yeah, it's a little pint. Mason's Pat, November 30th, 1858. All right. Yeah. Nice one, I'll bring it up here and see a little bit better. Yeah. Got the ground lip on it. Yeah. All right, we get one. And the other one too. All right, well, let's see what else might be in there. Let's see if he's got any friends down in there. Now the rain is kind of subsiding a little bit, it's still raining a little, but you can see it's a lot of broken stuff down in there. A lot of bricks, unfortunately. 
broke a lot of the bottles it looks like, but, but there's still stuff there. There's a little, some kind of a little food jar or something. Yeah, that's a cute little jar. Huh, no name on it, but it's a little, like a quarter pint jar. There's some kind of a drinking glass. That's whole. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's got some design on it. Probably like a dried beef or a jelly glass. Probably jelly. They reused it as a drinking tumbler. It has a little bit of design there. There's a beer bottle here. That's a crown top. No name on it. AB Co. on the bottom. <laughs> but, yep. Alright, well. To keep it working away. I might knock this shelf in a little bit. My broken plates. Right, actually, it's whole. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> hey, I think it's a match to that green one you hit there earlier. Oh, is it? Yeah, it looks like it's the same pattern. Kind of a green transfer printed name. Alright. Like a late porcelain, we call it late. It's probably 1890s. But nice little saucer. Yeah. Fruit jar lid liner. And a milk glass inserts that went inside of a fruit jar lid. See a lot of them. Let's scream about. I'm going to knock a little of this in to see what's going on here. Oop, there's my bottle. Floating in the water. Mocha flask. Oh, a little half pint. Coffin whiskey flask. Unembossed, hand blown. Probably turn of the century, 1900. Well, I see some more. Feel some stuff there, but a lot of broken dishes. But, uh oh, what was that? Something plopped down here. Oh well. Oh, there's a sugar. Oh, that was a pitcher. Probably from that same set. It's broken. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that green. I don't know if it's the same, but it's green. It looks like it, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Threw a whole set of that yeah. stuff away. Can you see all the seeds floating in there? I don't know if you can pan in on it. Yeah, I'm zoomed in a little. Itty a little bit. See that yeah. white? That's all like seeds and stuff from what they ate. Their breads and fruits, vegetables passed through their system. That's what was left of the doo doo down in there. <laughs> right down about the nine foot level. So, all right. Well, yeah, we had a broken Keokuk Pickle Company from Keokuk, Iowa. That would have been nice. You don't see too that them very often. But. All right. All right. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> okay. Right. What we're doing now, we're making real good progress. Yeah, we bailed this, and we dug this side right down in here. So we're throwing our dirt back into that, and we got some some stuff exposed here. We're going to try to dig that out. I can find a good standing point here and see if I. Can. A little bit of this stuff out of here. There was a big broken chamber pot there. A bottle on the side of it. Oh, there's a couple bottles there. There's a, it's like a coffin flask sticking out of there. Yep. Oh, pint size. Yep. Pint coffin whiskey flask. Then we'll use this to kind of build up our little step there so we can try to stay dry. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to work, but we shall see. Oh, there's another one. Like another coffin flask. In it. Oh, it's got a big chip on the lip there. Alright. See, it's a good trash layer right down in here. There's a lot of china and broken glass and stuff. It's kind of a little jar. I don't know what that one is. Alright, let me see if I can get my foot around here. There's a couple bottles sticking out in here. Out of the mud, there's a beer. 
Looks like it has nothing on it. Root on the bottom. Made a root glass company over in Terre Haute, Indiana. There's something right there. Oh, it's part of a statue or something, wasn't it? It's broken up, but... Yeah. Let's see what's over here. There's another a little hand-blown whiskey flask. No name on it. Fruit jar there. Yeah, another little pint. Pint Mason's Pat, November 30th, 1850. All right. Wish it was green or amber. I yeah. know. <laughs> yep. Nice little pint jar. They're throwing away some jars, so. Broken jug. That is. Medicine. Ooh, there's a. Oh, it's broken. Blue spongeware chamber pot. It looked like broken jug. A lot of big heavy stuff right down in here. There might be another jar. They might have cleaned out a basement or something. Look at yeah. That. Another one of them pint jars. Wow. Wow. It's yeah. It's another Mason's patent. That one's Mason's Cross Hero Cross patent. It's kind of. Weekly embossed, but oh come on, pull out a colored I one. I know it. <laughs> it's about our fourth one we pulled out of there. Yeah, they're throwing away some stuff though. There was a broken jug. Up to it. Makes good fill though. Anyway, hey, there's a little medicine there. Hey, that one's got something on it. White's Cream Vermifuge. <laughs> that was from St. Louis. That was for worms. Kids had tapeworms or something. They took White's Cream Vermifuge. Back in 1890s, turn of the century. Alright. Keep on rolling. It's kind of muddy, but there's stuff mixed in there. That'll get in there. Oh, that's a doll. Is it really? Yeah, it's a it's a body. Its arms and legs are missing, but it's actually the body of a and head of a doll. Oh, cool. Let's see if I can wipe some of the mud off. I don't know if it's got. Yeah, it's just a solid one. It's got painted eyes on it. But yeah, a little German German doll. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Yeah. Probably. I don't know if we'll be able to find the arms and legs in here. I'm going to dig around there just a second and get lucky and find the arms and legs nearby it here. Oh, there's something amber sticking out. Looks like a beer. Oh, there's there's one of the arms right there. <laughs> All right. We got one of them. Uh-oh, is that the other one? Yeah, look at that. There's the other arm. All right. We got both the arms. <laughs> they might have thrown it away because the legs were broken. But hey, maybe we'll find the legs. We're not done yet here. Got a big bone. Somebody's eating good, weren't they? Yeah. Makes good fill. Stand on there. Oh, there's a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Well, Man, one more it? leg and there'll be leg. There it is. complete no way. Yeah, no way. I can't believe that's, that. That's rare to find that yeah. all intact. Look at that. There it is. Well, how? what's the odds of that? Look at that. I don't There's remember legs. ever doing that with you, Vern. <laughs> I know. I was actually half kidding because I thought, well, we probably won't find them, but there they are. That doll's all there, man. 1890s little China or bisque doll. That's great. They had to have thrown it away together then <laughs> yeah. in one piece. That's pretty neat. I'm going to put them inside of that jar. Yeah. So we don't lose them again. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't have given very good odds of that. No, me this. either muck that we're digging in. But. I can't remember finding one like that intact. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, might as well keep going and see what else is around there. Sometimes you gotta step back, you know, when you're digging like this and, and uh, you know, be aware that there could be something like that transpire. But there's another coffin flask, a little half pint. They sure like their whiskey. And they like beer. Another beer bottle, nothing on it. We found one uh, earlier, it was embossed, we'll show it right away. It was a real nice one. A lot of window glass. 
poor Paul, he <clears throat> digging down here like crazy and lets me get down here and pull out all the fun stuff. Oh no, I had my share. Enema tip. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> had a tube on the end of it with a hot water bottle and yeah, well, I'll let, let you use your imagination for the rest of that one. <laughs> use for douches, enemas, all kinds of good fun stuff. There's something green. That, that could be metal. Yeah, that's something brass there. I don't know what it is, but we save all the brass things, you know, and then we get home, clean them up, see what they are. Sometimes you find something pretty cool. We're due for a nice... Civil War belt plate, aren't we? we ain't found I know. In a while. Paul pulled out a bayonet though here recently. That was kind of fun. Yep, another broken jug. A lot of broken stuff there. A whole pile of it, in fact. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, look at all this concentration, man. Mostly pottery and stuff. There's a little bottle. Oh, that's a slick. Got roots growing out of it. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Nine feet in the ground, there's roots growing out of it. Them roots find a way. Is that a oh, what is that? No, another broken jug, man. Jugs and spittoons, all kinds of broken stuff, man. Well, I'm gonna have to clean that out. Yeah, it looks like a big layer of it. Yeah, another broken coffin flask. <clears throat> yeah, there's a hole. A whole bunch of stuff right there, so we're gonna clean that out. We thought we'd show a little bit of that. I'm glad we showed over that doll. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Don't see that very often. A good round. There's actually some of that hose for that enema tip right there. That's all that's left of. Hey, there's a little connector for it too. Right there. That hose went on here. This was on the other end. There was a little bulb, pump suction bulb, put down inside some water and a. Oh, well, I better stop talking about that. People are weird. <laughs> well, it's reality. That's the reality of life in the 1800s, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> All right, well, let's clean some out. All right. <laughs> Doing good. Keep on a going. <laughs> All right, Dad's been down here for over an hour or so. <laughs> going out this lot. Definitely hitting a lot of bottles and fruit jars just nothing great but <coughs> cool stuff <coughs> we've loaded out quite a few we got a few here a little medicine ozo emulsion a little amber medicine bottle hand blown we got several little slicks little ambers well park davis and company on the bottom <coughs> we got another little Sample Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Liver and Bladder Cure. We hit one of them earlier. This would have been cool. It's something broken. And I've liked medicines for 50 years. And here's one I don't think I've seen. It's R.V. Pierce, M.D. And it said Electro Something Magnetine. On it. Wow. That's a Dr. R.V. Pierce bottle from Buffalo, New York. Something kind of... Electro something magnetine. <laughs> That'd have been nice. Oh yeah. And a little bitty medicine bottle. It says uh, Slocum's Colt's Foot Expectorant on the bottom. Kind of an odd shaped little hand blown medicine bottle. We got a little sample whiskey bottle. This guy was a whiskey drinker, wasn't he, Paul? Yeah. Loved a whiskey. Lots of jugs. There's been at least. 12 or 15 broken jugs. We're standing on a bunch of them. <clears throat> Made good fill though. <laughs> uh, we got a couple more fruit jars here. We pulled out several jars out of this. Yeah. This is another Mason's Pat, November 30th, 1858, with a SG Co monogram on it. It's a quart. Doesn't look like any color. Yeah, we just keep hoping, but anyway, on some other slicks and black glass beer. About as good as it sounds. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what's down in there. I'm hitting some stuff here. We've been bailing water. We got something big. I don't know what it is right there. The water is filling back up as fast as we dig, it seems like. Uh, let's see. Looks like another jar, maybe. Yeah, another jar. Mason's patent. Boy, that one's bold in Boston. It sure is. Since Pat, November 30th, 1858. 
Nothing on the back though. Got a P and two little dots on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I wish it had a number or something in there. I know. Well, they certainly threw away the jars, man. Yeah, we got a box up here and there's <laughs> four or five more fruit jars in there. Yeah. Some food bottles, Lydia Pinkums, coffin flasks. A little, a little green smelling salts bottle with the stopper. Still got the stuff in it. Yeah, he's still. There's a little bottle floating up out of the diffs. Oh, come here. Don't go away. Come on. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, do better than dig my hands down into that water. But anyway, we're right on the bottom down there, but it keeps filling up full of water. We bail some out, and we got to do some more. But yeah, we've got over the half of the bottom. Yeah. You kind of see it's a great big seven-foot-long oval. Crazy. Well, we're hoping there's still a few things left on the other side. Look this stuff down. Got a nice shelf that's built up. Boy, it was getting mighty soggy while we're Oh, going. yeah. There's a little water in this. A little, a little slit. Uh, oh, we had a lot of whiskeys in this hole. Just a variety of medicines and stuff, so it's pretty fun. But we're not done yet. There's another whiskey. Another whiskey bottle. Yep. Boy, they were like no name ones. Didn't get very many in Boston ones. I keep hoping for something good, but looks like it's kind of thinning out there now. Yep, getting towards the front wall. Yep. We dug the main trash area. Uh, they're slick. <laughs> yeah. Now we're hoping we get this one done. We've got time to dig another one yet today. So we'll see what happens. Alright, well, I'll get ready to probably bail some more water. Yeah, there's another. Coffin flask or something there. Yeah, there's been a lot of those. A lot, yeah. Yeah, we'll try to show a picture when we get done. Get home. We're just fighting the rains right now. <coughs> All right. I guess okay. we're going to have to build some more out of All right. Paul and I got done with the big uh, eight foot long brick lined outhouse. Went down about 10 foot or more. Uh, we bailed a lot of water and slop out of there and anyway we kind of got rained out we were going to try to dig something else but we were real tired and it was raining and nasty it got colder so down below freezing so we decided just to call it a day and we came home and anyhow that was day two and this is the um, this is the stuff that we didn't clean up it's, I just laid it out here and mostly slicks uh, you can see there's about a hundred and 35 bottles here and a lot of whiskeys <laughs> you see a lot of the uh, coffin whiskey flasks which are these right in here the shoe fly or coffin flasks and then there's the just the plain oval flasks both half pints and pints and then there's a few bigger bottles a couple big quart drugstore bottles there and a cylinder whiskey and some more whiskeys and Couple fruit jars there, and mineral water, and beer bottles, another whiskey, one jug. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna show the other stuff. I just wanted to uh, show this. That's a lot of the stuff that came out of there. So I'm gonna go inside now and got some of the other ones washed up. So we'll look at those. And here's the rest of the stuff that we got. <clears throat> Primarily out of the big brick liner there and ended up didn't go real old went back to about the 1890s late 90s and uh, Oh, anyway, I'll show what come out of there here briefly
talk a little bit about them so maybe some people can learn a few things about some of the bottles and um, up here I'll start on the top shelf uh, not that they're any better but it's a blob top beer bottle from the basically the 1880s that has FHGW on the bottom which stands for Frederick Heights Glass Works out of St. Louis Missouri that was a beer bottle and um, you don't see a lot of those marks on there FHGW but anyway it's upside down there you go FHGW with a number six on it and um, next to it here we have a straight sided coke bottle from Little Rock Arkansas try to figure out the best way to show these <coughs> Straight side Coke, and it says uh, property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company around the base, Little Rock, Arkansas. And it's got Coca-Cola again on the bottom in script. So anyway, that was I remember pulling that one out of there. And a nice medicine bottle. It's the U.S. Marine Hospital Service, 125 uh, cc's. A little square hand-blown bottle from probably 1880s in this Marine Hospital service <clears throat> and a Dr. J. Hostetter stomach bitters they're pretty common but you know we always enjoy finding them nice amber Hostetters one of the only bitters we got out of there I think it is the only whole one we got and this is a nice bottle it's a um, Stecker Special Brew is what it says on there. And that's from Murfreesboro, Illinois. Let's see if I can get it in a little better light angle here. Can't hardly see it, but it's called Stecker Special Brew, trademark. And it's got a nice, the company trademark there. And it's a hand-blown crown top, but it's a nice older one. I mean, it's right around turn of the century. And those are scarce, but... Um, you don't find those very often here in the Midwest. But anyway, I'm gonna, yeah, I guess that's about the best I can do on that. This is a cute little bottle. It's a little cologne bottle. A little diamond hobnail uh, cologne. Some people call them a sample whiskey, but I believe they were cologne bottles. Had a little label space there on the back. Cute little bottle. Dead up here. This one come out of the older hole <coughs> that we dug on the first day. It's a Hamlin's Wizard Oil. Whoops, boy, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> From Chicago. It's got the old hinge mold bottom. You can see it's a nice applied lip on that one. Double ring applied lip. The Hamlin's Wizard Oil. They were actually one of the first uh, traveling medicine shows and they had uh, Hamlin's Wizard Oil troupe that toured around the country and uh, they sold their medicines traveling medicine show um, this is a kind of a cute little bottle it's a little amber ink bottle it's still got some of the stuff in it some of the ink as you can see but kind of unusual it's amber a little square almost a schoolhouse type ink bottle and Mason's Hero Cross Patent November 30th, 1858. I'm having trouble getting these just right because of the, the sun's going down. I waited too long. It's got a ground lip on it. It's a hand-blown one. Patent 1867 on the bottom, which is normal. But it's a Mason's Cross patent, November 30th, 1858. And a nice little green salts bottle. And that one also has a stuff in it. I don't know if it'll show up here, but... Uh, the stopper is still sealed, and it's got the the old uh, smelling salts or bath salts are inside here that they used put in their bath water, and uh, that was pretty neat. Look at that; you can still see the little salts in there. And that's from the 1890s, right around the turn of the century. It's a real pretty green bottle stopper. Next to that, we got a food bottle. Maybe I'll just leave it sit where it is. It's a Dodson Hills Manufacturing Company out of St. Louis with a monogram. Nice little mustard. This is one that I had never seen this one before. It, it's embossed James Chaskill and Company Central Oils 
and flavoring extracts and company or something New York but yeah thought it was a nice big drugstore bottle it's got the WT and company 1878 patent on the bottom which is called a Millville round and uh, yeah that's just an odd one but shows in 50 years of digging 30 more for Paul 80 years of combined digging we've never seen that but <laughs> that's what we love about the digging and we come down here <clears throat> this was one of the things Paul pulled out of that first older privy from 1860s early 70s it's a woman's uh, hair piece they wore in their hair and when we dug it I thought it had something on the back but I couldn't focus but anyway on there it's got the 1865 Goodyear's patent on it um, so that's kind of nice old hard rubber which was a byproduct of the rubber process they call it vulcanized rubber or India rubber this was also a hard rubber lice comb we got out of that first hole 1860s it's a nice shape and they use them as mustache combs also but and a stoneware ink bottle a little small size stoneware ink and the barrel mustard we dug a couple or three broken ones we got one good one it's no embossing on it smooth base but nice old barrel mustard aqua and a couple sample bottles of dr kilmer swamp root kidney cure from Binghamton, New York. And an ozo emulsion, which had uh, the stuff in it. And when I dumped it out, it, unfortunately, it came out in my water when I was just washing the bottle all ago. And oh, that was nasty. I had to change out the water. It gummed up on top, got all over everything. But White's Cream Vermifuge, a little hand blown patent medicine bottle from St. Louis, which was for worms, parasitic worms in your intestines. And they had some medical problems. There was a little syringe. I call them a bullet syringe because of the shape of them. But it's made out of hard rubber. Had the little plunger rod there in it. And uh, they use that for injecting uh, medicines. Sometimes uh, mercury directly into the sexual organs, you know, for treating syphilis and gonorrhea. Has a little white uh, medical salve pot. And some of those go way back. Um, Anyway, there was a couple of them. We got two of those out of there. Another fruit jar says the Ball Mason's Patent, November 30th, 1858. I uh, can't see it very well, but it says the Ball. And it's an older jar with a hand blown ground lip. Got the little diamond on the bottom. This was kind of neat. It's a pint Mason's Patent, November 30th, 1858. And it's got some some nice amber swirls in the glass you know, can't see it very good here on the video but but anyway Paul had pulled that out and thought it was green and it is sort of green <laughs> it's an aqua jar but it's got the green uh, swirls in it which makes it a little more desirable so yeah that was kind of fun we got several of the jars you can see come out of that hole um, there was several about half a dozen of the pint ones and about over half a dozen of the quartz also the mason's 1858 jars some of them are nice real bold embossed and the other ones are not as embossed this one's uh, mason's sg company it's got the monogram on sg company but nothing special there but this was a cool looking uh whiskey it's got some nice iridescence on it see that rainbow coloring from being in the ground over a hundred years those are always real pretty so we're going to be selling all them on ebay if anybody's interested all right dr jw bulls cough syrup it's from baltimore a little hand blown one side embossed and just some other stuff there's a broken candle stick it's got the top chipped on it but i still think we can put a candle in there and make it look pretty it's a real nice ornate hobnail design on it we save a lot of that stuff there's a little clear sample whiskey bottle hand blown a little medicine bottle called Slocum's Colt's Foot Expectorant and uh, a sample bottle of Dr. King's New Discovery which was for consumption it actually had cannabis in it 
Um, this was one that came out of the older hole. I still got some stuff in that. Don't know what it is. You can see where it lay on its side like that. And that sediment just stayed in there. The contents, whatever it was, the cork dried and it came out. But a little an unembossed amber. It says uh, PD and Company on the bottom, which stands for Park Davis and Company. It's a pharmaceutical company out of Detroit, Michigan. And a little doll egg. What that's to, but anyway, this was kind of cool. When we were digging, I think you've seen on the video that this um, bow legged doll here looks like a bow legged doll. But anyway, I found the doll. You know, I was down there digging in that slop and muck and found the doll. And I thought, well, I better look see if I might be able to find one or two of the legs. And boy, if we didn't find them, we got the, got the legs, which are matching, and got a little chip on the toe there. But then the arms come out, so that was kind of fun to find. No, that don't happen very often, but because uh, usually they they get lost and they're gone, man. And there's a Leon Perns or Cestershire sauce. Got a lot of them. That's an old hand blown one. There's another little sample bottle, Kemp's Balsam, which is a medicine from O.F. Woodward from Leroy, New York, for the throat and lungs. There's a little. GW, I think I talked about that earlier when we dug it, but it's Great Western Glassworks out of St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, it's not a mark that you see all the time. And a little whiskey flask with the rib sides, and three of these, Whittemer Boston, real common shoe polish boot dressing bottle. There's a blob top beer. Got a little air dersence on it. But not much to help it. Our per food products was from St. Louis. And two of the Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compounds for women. Hand blown bottles. Most all these are hand blown. There's a little jelly glass which they used as a tumbler. Would have kept it around. That was in pretty good shape. Only clear one. Brought in flask. I just brought this in because it was kind of neat. It had a crooked neck on it, as you can see. But that's called a JoJo flask. That's what we call them JoJo's. I don't know why they call them JoJo's. That was what they were called. There's a milk glass, uh, nice lid for a sugar bowl or a teapot. Big hollow blown glass stopper. There's a little perfume bottle or cologne from the 1890s and some little decoration on it. This is a whatchamacallit. Um, a real nice whatchamacallit. I really don't know what you call it. Uh, it's, it's lead. It's real heavy. And uh, I was hoping it was some kind of a Civil War uh, grenade or type thing, you know. It had powder in that maybe, but I doubt. I don't know what it was, but maybe somebody knows what that is. Um, that's fun about digging. You're always finding oddities and things. But you can see it's real heavy and it's hollow inside. Don't know what that was. A little perfume bottle, a couple stoppers, bromo seltzer, there's three little morphine bottles, and a cone ink bottle there. Um, California fig syrup. There's a three in one oil, three sided pickle bottle. Um, this was kind of an odd thing. It's a food bottle, like a pickle, and on the bottom it's got the glass mark. K KGB Company. Um, it's from Russia. You know the KGB over there out of Moscow? No, I'm just kidding. That's a Kearns uh, Gorsuch Bottle Company out of Zanesville, Ohio. That's what that one is. Hand-blown food bottle. Kind of unusual. And another beer bottle, which again, not embossed on the side, but bottom's got the glass mark on it. ABGM Co., which that stands for Adolphus Bush Glass Manufacturing Company. That was out of Belleville, Illinois. And uh, they had a lot of different Bush bottles they exported. Um, some of these you find in cobalt blue. Dug a couple of them a while back that were cobalt. And a couple of the enema tips or hot water bottle tips. There's a part, the other part of it. And resting in a little porcelain dish. Kind of pretty. A flower pot. <laughs> Got a friend of ours in in our church in 
Kitts from Greenville. She runs a little flower shop down there real cool. So that's going to go to her, I think. But and there's another little bowl there with some pretty flowers on it. Another little bowl with pretty flowers. It's got one little rim chip there. This is just a top I save because I save a lot of the early tops in different colors for one of these days when I get too old to dig anymore and I retire I'll be doing some repairing of bottles so I got hundreds of necks and things that use for repairing a couple little old lead uh, caps for little whiskey flasks and stuff and there was a broken doll head there some more pieces of it part of the eye I just saved it it's broken but it's all that's left of that eyeball <laughs> but anyway that's about it um, that was our dig. We got some stuff uh, other, I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, I didn't show it in here. But we look forward to the next dig. We, uh, we got a couple more lined up. I think Shelly and I are going digging here, so we'll try to shoot some video of that. And we hope everybody's doing good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and Hit the subscribe down there and we'll keep you up to date. You go with us on these digs as much as possible. We want to try to take you with us. So uh, we're looking forward to the next time and we're going to try to uh, get into some old stuff. So God bless you and have a good day. And we just give God all the praise.